The Flash issue 755 sees the people of the world talk about the Flash and how he gives them hope, inspires them, and is the greatest hero in the world. Barry knows that that's a lot to live up to as he finds himself battling the all-powerful paradox with Reverse Flash in Godspeed. Barry frees August, who says that he didn't want to kill all of those Flashes, but Paradox made him time travel to those locations. Reverse Flash tells him that they need to save their reunion for later, since thanks to Paradox destroying time and reality, they are beginning to fade from existence. They are soon transported to Paradox's realm, which is outside of reality. Barry demands to know what Eobard did, but the villain refuses to accept the blame for this, saying that if Barry had let him kill Paradox in his human form, this would never have happened. August stops them from fighting, telling them that they need to look into the sky. Above them, a time storm has formed, made up of all of the places Paradox has killed Barry throughout time. Eobard knows that Barry hates him, but he needs to listen to him, since Paradox has none of the skill of manipulating time like he does meaning they can still stop him. Flash and Godspeed, however, know the timelines are destroyed, but Eobard says that they still stand, meaning the timelines haven't collapsed fully yet, but once they do, reality will be destroyed. Barry wants to know what to do, but Eobard tells them that he knows, he just needs to admit it. Paradox arrives, saying that they are too late, since he has won and the Legend of the Flash has been erased, so now he will move on into the multiverse, unraveling all its secrets for himself. Barry wants to know if he committed all of this destruction just so he could learn about the multiverse, but Paradox says that this was all about the Flash, since the villain was trapped in this hell because of him, and he lost his family because of him. Paradox knows that the Flash claims to care for people, but all he cares about is himself. Eobard finds that funny, since the villain knows nothing of the Flash, as he's tried everything to break Barry Allen, and he never stops running, which is very annoying for him. Godspeed says that no matter his sins, Barry always wanted to help him, and he would give his own life to help people, and if that's not a hero, he doesn't know what is. Paradox is amused that Barry's enemies have come to his defense, saying that this is his legacy, three destroyers of life at the end of reality. Unleashing his power, he says that the Flash Age ends now, attacking the villains and heroes. Eobard says that they need to kill him if they are to save the day, and even August agrees with him. Barry still refuses, knowing there has to be another way. Barry tells Eobard that the villain thinks of him as a rookie, and that Eobard Eobard is the expert, so he needs to show them how it's done, and he can fix this and save Chris before he can be erased from reality while he and Godspeed stall Paradox. Barry hopes he can trust Reverse Flash as the villain zooms off, leaving Flash and Godspeed to battle the villain. As they battle Paradox, Flash apologizes to Chris, knowing what it's like to lose family. Paradox demands to know how Flash can say that after seeing so many of his selfish choices, telling the hero that his influence is toxic on everyone. Reverse Flash Mimo heads back into the unstable timeline to the point where Chris was to become Paradox when Flash was fighting the turtle. He knows the trick is not to let time restart while he is there and just play around in it while it is stopped. As Barry is blasted again and again by Paradox, Reverse Flash makes his choice, knowing the choice was easy. He's going to do what Flash would do. As Eobard touches Chris, Paradox feels the effects of Eobard giving him his life with his family back. Paradox, however, is still strong, wondering how will Flash ever ever proved to him that he is worthy of the title of legend. Chris in the past is reunited with his family, and as he is, Paradox begins to become undone. Told by Flash that while he can't control how people see him, he just has to have hope in people. Paradox tries to attack the hero, saying that he will not be erased, and the Flash age has to be undone as he fades off into nothing. Barry knows Eobard was successful, but August thinks he left them for dead in the realm, which is being eaten away thanks to its master being being destroyed. Barry tells August to shut up and run, running against the pull of gravity as Reverse Flash returns, saying if the three of them run together, his negative speed force combined with the positive speed force from August and Barry should be enough to free them. Running into the speed force, the speedsters begin to see various moments throughout the Flash's history, all of which are being returned to their rightful place now that Paradox is gone. Bursting from the speed force, they arrive back at the Flash Museum, right after Flash's first fight with Paradox, meaning that time hasn't been rewritten and everything is back to normal. Reverse Flash goes to take off back into the timeline, but August stops him, saying that he knows redemption isn't easy, but they aren't so different, and he knows what it's like to try and live up to Flash's heroic expectations. As they talk, Iris arrives and Barry runs to her, hugging his love and telling her what just happened is a very long story. Reverse Flash meanwhile thinks it's too bad that neither he or Godspeed 
got a statue at the Flash Museum, but Godspeed knows that he will get one someday. Since the villain is from the future, August asks if he knows who killed his brother, and in the blink of an eye, Reverse Flash snaps Godspeed's neck, saying that he killed his brother, and now he has killed August. Flash races to August's body, telling Eobard that they trusted him. Eobard says that he really should smile more, and that Paradox was after the wrong monster. In a fit of rage, Barry says that he is going to kill Thorn, but the villain says that he's done that already beating him down and instead the hero is going to do what he always does, gather up the Flash family and come after him. The villain knows that his family will chase him and that's how it's always gone, but this time he's going to change things up, intending on finding his own reverse Flash family. The Flash issue 755 was a huge ending to the Flash Age story that threw lots of awesome and shocking curveballs into Flash's story. I enjoyed Eobard actually listening to Barry for once and kind of teaming with him in a really cool way and doing something rather heroic, of course only to revert back to his evil ways by the end. I was actually pretty shocked by Godspeed's death, which wasn't something I saw coming and I don't think even August saw that coming, and I do find it amusing that yet again Eobard messed with a speed history. I'm really looking forward to him getting his own Flash family opposite since I love that he's decided he's sick of playing the same games over and over again and is looking to change up the formula which is quite refreshing so I'm very much looking forward to the Legion of Zoom next issue. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.